Alright everyone, welcome to another video in our installment of our Mobile Suits Tips and Tricks series for Gun Battle Operation 2. But yeah, today's video is going to feature a very special suit that I like to call the No Fun Police. His name is Directom 2 gh Now, here's the thing. This suit is a monster of a raid. It's got a lot of health. It's got a lot of damage. It's got a giant shield. Now it doesn't look like it's got a shield, because you don't see a shield on it. But really, where the shield matters is, as you see in this little presentation, you see that giant sword on his back? Now imagine no matter where it's equipped on the suit, that acts as a giant shield that protects you from all attacks and cannot break. So you don't need to waste shield parts on it. But yeah. Welcome to the Rectom 2 GH video, everyone. This can be fun. So essentially we're going back to another space only suit and this suit's really fun. This is yeah, I call it the no fun police because, you know, I didn't have it for a long time and at level four hundred and four fifty this thing just dominates. And you know Whatever there's no fun in getting one shot by a raid with one melee attack. But yeah, so uh, let's dive into the, the build of the suit and we'll talk about its skills and what it's really well, what it really does, why it's called the No Fun Police. So, going to the, my build here, it has one weapon, which is the MP80 with the grenade launcher. No big deal. It has its large heat saber, which is, as I said before, a shield. So, um, it's got three sub weapons a chest beam gun, Sturm Faust, the grenade launcher from the machine gun. Pretty simple, right? But well, here's where the build starts being interesting. Is that we're looking for maximum damage with survivability. I just threw some thrusters on there because why not? Because you know it's got space compatibility. More thrusters never hurt. But all melee parts, levels 1 through 4. Just get that out of the way right now. That smack all those on there, plus 24, bring up the 50 me almost 50 melee boost. 49 is that's a lot. Levels 1 and 5, Strength and Frame. Level 2, Anti-Melee Armor, to bring it up to 34 melee resistance. That's a lot. And level 3, Thrusters. Maxes out all your possible part slots. Keeps you pretty good. You like maxing out, make sure there's no gaps. There you go, this is a build for that. I listed all my shortcuts differently for the suit. So my pri the machine gun is not queued for anything on my Hot Wheel. Only my stuns. As you notice, the suit has 3 stuns for a melee suit. Granted, they're all precision stuns. But we're in space. Everything's a precision stun. And the best part is, the map we're going to be going and practicing on is this suit's best map, which is, you know, the very close quarters base. Space base. Space fortress. There's a lot of walls to splash people off of. And that Stormfaust is really good. That grenade, grenade launcher is really good. That They can't really fly around if they're stuck against the pole. And you hit him with your, with your chest beam, and you hit him with a sword. So... Looking at his skills, it doesn't have a lot of skills, it only got six of them. It's got high spec and back, as all spacesuits will. Maneuver armor level two, which means it takes reduced damage while boosting. Force injector level one. Power accelerator level one, which means when at the end of a clash, it gets out of the clash faster and is able to act, and is able to act faster than another suit, unless the other suit also has power in the accelerator, which is not a very common skill. Any blast stabilizer, so and the mobile suit explosion will not stagger the suit and offense system. The offense system is also seen on other suits with giant melee weapons, the high speed DOM and the Afrit DS as examples, which means reduce reaction when hit by a range attack during melee combat. So when you're swinging your giant ass sword, range attacks have less chance to stagger you. A shotgun will, but rockets won't. Just put that in perspective. Is this shot beam instant stun beam rifles? No. Beam rifles? No. Shotgun. Machine gun. That's the only way. Other than that, it's really the build. This suit has like a couple gimmicks that we're gonna go over in the practice range. This suit is a, this is a this is a big boy, all right. It's, this is probably the best space raid outside of the Saikamuzaku at this cost range. At, you can even bat up with this suit to 500 when it's a 450. This shouldn't make that much of a difference, but you don't want to use the level one at 500. Don't do that. Keep it within 50. Don't use this thing in unrestricted. Don't do that. Because stuff like the Mark II, the gun, the Mark II is going to hurt. The GPO series is going to hurt. 
you know. But they'll support. They're gonna die. You do three. You have three thousand one hundred and fifty with the on level level two large beat sa large large heat saver. But yeah, so. Let's get into the practice range. I'll meet you over there, and we'll talk about combos and the gimmick of this suit, which is fairly simple to understand. I'll see you guys over there. All right, so one thing with how the Hot Wheels set up, don't be surprised when your MMP-80 is selected at the beginning, because it does not select off your Hot Wheel to start. It selects base your primary weapon to start off with. So we have an enemy support right here. We lead in with any of our stunts. So you got to remember, this is a dom, and we're in space. You're going to be super glidy, so always remember that. So you got a grenade, we got a grenade launcher, we got our chest beam, and we got our storm faust. So storm faust is going to take the longest to ready out of all of them, so keep that in mind. But it also is a heavy stacker, so you know, it's going to hurt. The chest beam gun and the grenade launcher, they're faster, and they're going to hit relatively hard. What you're looking for with the suit, like always, it's just a flat out stun. And then, yeah. So... We are going to basically run a combo on this Gilgo Cannon, and we'll call that a freaking wrap, because this thing's probably either going to be dead or close to dead. So, what we're going to do, hit grenade launcher, down swing. Because we're just going to expect it has no boost. It's not going to be react, alright? And I missed my down swing, the second half of it. So, the gimmick of this suit is that... The downswing, basically, the second part won't hit unless you hit the first part. That's kind of the method of it. Unless they fly into it. It's a long downswing, easy to counter. But, it only has one swing, as you saw. So, you know, it's got a lot of reach, and it's going to hit like a truck no matter how you hit somebody. But, you know, you're literally aiming for the downswing. So, you know. Be careful, because the hitbox is only the blade, so the blade starts past the hilt. The hilt of this suit is where, you see like the the extra handle is on the front of the blade? Right there up. That's your hitbox. So essentially, the max range it, can be something like that. And there you go. You see it does a lot of damage. We're going to fly over to this Gundam over here. We're going to hit it with the max range. You know, doing half health to something that you have no buffs or debuffs over is a lot of damage. So, this thing is really easy to disrupt entire enemy team comps because the thing is, a lot of people are grouped up and you just, all it takes is one not to pay, like them not to pay attention. You go in with the downswing, you're hitting, you can easily hit like five people that are truly close together. Yeah, you, know, you have a lot of coverage. But yeah, so we're going to run it up again with the Storm Faust. And we're going to go in for another downswing. Then we'll go over, like, just basically the uses of the other swings. I highly recommend just going for the downswing after stun every time. So, you know. You see, the port is almost dead. We wouldn't get another swing in, so like the G-Line Assault Armor. Its weapon is really slow to ready again. So at that point... If you had the machine gun queued up, which you wouldn't do that much damage anyways, you'd take shots at it. But essentially, as soon as that support's ready to go again, you know, you downswing, just neutral swing, and you know, it's dead. But essentially, the biggest thing with the suit is its reach and power with its melee weapon. You know, even a neutral swing that prototype gun from that far away, even though it was off to the side of the actual animation's hitbox, big deal. The ability to, you know, start from back here at this prototype Gundam and hit that one, that's also a big deal. The suit basically carries a lot of damage inside of its melee weapon, which acts as a shield that doesn't break. And this thing has a lot of health. Three stun options on a raid, you know. The downswing is surprisingly fast. It's very tight. It's, it's long, it's easy to counter, but you're in space. Thing is, tackling the space is not the easiest thing to do. Let's be real here. So, you know, you get away scot-free with a lot of these wacky moves that you could try and pull off. You know? And this is this suit's no fun to play against, but it's really fun to play. Um, essentially, to cut to the chase here, if you're getting destroyed as this suit, 
it's either your fault or your team's fault because you do need support. You're running out there, you're a dom, you're a huge target. Especially with this giant sword on your back, people will see you and they'll be like, well, I gotta shoot the GH. So, keep that in mind. You need to basically, you need to watch yourself and you need to make sure your teammates are got your back, you know? Because you're really strong if no one's paying attention to you. But as soon as more than one person's really paying attention to you, you're gonna start suffering. Because that's a lot of fire coming from different directions. So. Recapping this video. This is a very good 1v1 suit. When it doesn't, when no one's paying attention to the suit, it can massively wreck damage on the enemy team. Enemy supports get turned into Swiss cheese. General types take a lot of damage and raids cry after you hit them with the downswing. This thing has three different stun options that I, ha that I recommend you hotkey to your available uh, Hot Wheel slots, as well as your giant sword. Um, it's fast. It's tanky. I mentioned it hits like a truck, because if I if I did, I want to say it again. Well, it hits like a truck, and it's got good speed. It's got 135 base speed. I put it up to 140. No, no, I lie. I used to have it up to 140. It's got 135 base speed with good boost speed, good thrusters, good space topography, and I put an extra thruster part on there. It's got force injector, so as we can move around really quickly with those extra thrusters, and yeah, no. Brick Dom GH. This suit is not in gotcha in the uh, not loot box pool, but it should be entering a cycle shop in the upcoming weeks. So like I'm saying in maybe like seven eight weeks this should be in the recycle shop and yeah you get this suit I suggest learning it this is a high skill floor suit with a really it's a high skill floor low skill ceiling once you know learn how to play it you really that's all you can really do with it so it's really fun easy it's once you get to learn once you learn how to use it it's just a monster and I yeah I recommend this suit yeah, this has been the Rick Tom Jew GH, friends. If there's anything I missed, let me know down in the comments as well. Let me know down there if in the comments if there's anything I'd like to see in the future. But yeah, this has been uh Deranged Power, AK Grandy Warrior, signing off. Ooh, this is Hiya. Goodbye.